Good morning. Welcome to the week ahead. Hey, good morning, Vincent. Welcome back. I am back. He's back. <laughs> Vincent, I'm telling you, people literally were like, Andrew, why no videos this week? What's going on? Yeah, Clearly you're here. Miss you. Yeah, and I said, no, oh, Vincent's out of town. So everybody's happy that you're back. We're back on air. Blame me. Yeah, yeah, back, <laughs> back on the internet. All right, to celebrate yeah. uh, August, yes. we have a very long word for Monday. That you big. go ahead. That big. Yeah. Non interventionism. Yeah. Non interventionism. And normally it's preceded by a positive, as in positive non-interventionism, and it's a big long word, and it's a word that C.Y. Lung has decided is no longer appropriate for the Hong Kong lexicon. Yeah, he was interviewed by Xinhua, and uh, the Chinese news agency, and uh, he said the word is obsolete, or basically the spirit of this is obsolete for, yes. for, for this special administrative yes, yes. region. Yeah. And I was definitely in the camp when uh, Donald when Donald Song started, you know, tacking away from this side of this thinking during his term and yeah, C- yes, y- yeah, right, yeah, right. Actually yeah. Donald said this first. Yeah, yeah. but I mean But uh, C Y Lung makes it Completely off. He, he wants to completely kill it. At least Donald Song had like big, big market, small government, you know, and, and at least there was something to replace it that was maybe a modernized version of the same thinking. But see why long, A, he's just said, no, absolutely not. The government should be in everywhere, in everything. <clears throat> and uh, the second thing that I think was really interesting about this was that he did the interview through Xinhua. Oh, yes. Like, if he wants to make a major statement about Hong Kong identity, Yep. Right, And this is an identity issue. Uh, why did he make it through a mainland Chinese publication? Why didn't he make it through a Hong Kong publication? Oh, I have the answer. Okay, hit, hit us with it. Because I have the answer. I know a lot of people are going to have a reaction okay. to that. You know why we still station our mobile studio here right opposite to the CGO, the central government office? Central government office, LegCo, chief executive yeah, you know office. Why? why? It's, it's some vacation, but we yeah. still station it here because yeah. it's the most important month. For the special administrative region government, okay, August is the month mm. for all resource mm. allocate. Ah, yes, it's funny you should mention all the yes. bureaus, yeah, and yeah, the departments, yeah. yeah, are like working crazily <coughs> to fight for the budget, yeah, yeah. which yeah. eventually, yeah, will result in two important documents: mm-hmm. the policy address, policy address, and, and the budget. budget. Yeah, right. So now the the two documents were closely tied together. Yes, in the past they were like half. Six yeah, months apart, kind of a year yeah, apart. Yeah. But now they're only one month or even a few weeks apart. Yes. So, CY Lang is basically sending out balloons He's fl- tri- through Xinhua. Through Xinhua. Yeah, yeah. About the upcoming policy address. Uh, and, he's saying, and see if anyone will shoot the balloons. Well, I tell you, there's some people taking shots. So, if yeah. it is not a huge rebuttal yeah. on his saying, mm-hmm. then I think. He will put this formally in, in his policy address yes. as part of his legacy and then, for this term. Yeah, yeah. And to set up for re-election. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the whole point. Absolutely. I think that's why. Yeah. He chose mm-hmm. Xinhua, yeah. not a local news agency, because he wants people up north to notice. To notice. To notice. You see, yeah, that's yeah. the whole point. Otherwise, to. Two things about this. Two things yeah. about this. I totally get where you're going, <clears throat> and I think that's interesting. You make a very interesting point. People should take note and take action if they think now. You know, if they think. Oh, so read God. read this interview. Yeah. If you read Chinese, that's perfect. Yeah. Otherwise, read the translation. That's basically the skeleton framework of the policy address. Yeah. At this stage. So this is a, this is almost a warning call to say if at you are stage. one of the people that do not want to see the budget go in that direction, now is the time to speak up. Oh yes, it is oh, not yes. the time to be on your summer holiday. He is sending out balloons. So that, who that. who was the first off the guns? Liberal Party once oh, yeah. again bucking the trend. You know the supposedly pro-establishment party. Felix Chung came out and was like, "This is the wrong way to go. Uh, this is part of our identity. This is who we are. If if we do not maintain positive non-interventionism, we are not Hong Kong," says Felix <laughs> Chung. Chairman of the Liberal Party. It looks like James Tin isn't the only one that's willing to, you know, buck the oh, trend, yeah. buck oh, the yeah. chief executive oh, a little yeah. bit. Uh, and I would tend to fall in that camp as well. I think it. I think it is part of our identity. Um, the key point is, yeah, I promote the concept of solutions journalism. Yeah. Right? So don't just tell me, yeah, what is obsolete. All right. Give me a solution. Give me a solution. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 let me say this. Yeah. Okay. 
we enter his arena mm -hmm. and then try to agree with him. Okay, yeah. let's say yeah. non-interventionism mm -hmm. is obsolete. Yeah. But what do we have? If yeah, what do, you, what do you what do you he's got the answer. Intervention. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of people that will what jump on that bandwagon. What kind of intervention? Of what kind of course. Intervention? You know, a lot of people will jump on that bandwagon. First out of the gates, uh, Paul Zimmerman, smart guy. And he came out and his thing was make the uh, provide seats at every bus stop. He wants to get on the bus companies. Seats at every bus stop. Streaming of bus location and loading information onto open data sites. Uh, minimal frequency of 15 minutes, including less popular routes. And then he wants to get on the scheme of control for the power companies. And then he wants to get on taxi. Shared booking systems and ban all of their equipment on the dashboard. So Paul Zimmerman, he's got some stuff in his head, and he's like, you want to intervene? This is how you do it. I would tend to agree with Felix Jung, who said, don't intervene. He said, find ways there can be less intervention. Make that the cornerstone of your policy to free up the business environment, right? But you know what? I think uh, two points here yeah. before we close this session. Like, what for example, it? don't ban Uber. Don't ban e-cigarettes. Yeah, let, 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 let's, say, let's say, uh, first of all, first question. Yeah. Even if CYLM wants to promote any form, any form, or any types of interventionism. Or every form of intervention. Any form. Thus, the people inside yeah. knows how to implement it. Uh, that's yeah, the, that's, the, a, that's the, a big question. The government yeah. has been <clears throat> yeah. working on non-interventionism for so long. Yeah, yeah. Do they have the mindset and the skills yeah. to operate any form of, of interventionism? Yeah. Regardless of whether the interventionism is right or wrong. Well, you well, see? I, I, that, yeah. I, I, I throw a big question mark on that. Yeah. All right? You, you have a policy, but nobody knows how to implement it. Mm -hmm. Basically, you have a non-policy. Yeah. All right? So that's one big question. Okay. The second question is, if CY is forcing ahead, bulldoze yeah. over yeah. some sort of interventionism just right. to build his legacy. Right. For the sake of building legacy. his legacy. Yeah, yeah. Which we can't stop him, right? He is the chief executive right now. Which his first, yeah. Then what would we rather have? Let's say we would rather have minimal interventionism, right? Which yes, minimal intervention or limited interventionism, right? So I think instead of just criticizing that, yeah, he is saying that non-interventionism yeah. is obsolete. Anyone who has big Question mark on this should start throwing new terms yeah. to battle with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need. We need I think that's terms. that's very important. <clears throat> Otherwise, big market, small government. He will drive. Term. He will. Yeah. yeah he will yeah. drive the discussion. Yeah. Using non-interventionism is obsolete as the key phrase. We say, fine. Here's what. Here's what we need. We, need we are. Like we this. are in the media business, so we have to come up with mm. new phrase mm. to combat with it. Okay. So I think that's something. Some food for thoughts okay. for everyone. I don't want to make this show too long, but I'm going to answer your first question. Is the Go bureaucracy on. geared up for it? There will be a lot of people who will be like, eh, 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 we don't really want it, don't really want it. But it only takes a few creative people who have that mindset of the more government I can create, the bigger my budget will be, the more staff I can justify. And there's a lot of money sitting there waiting to be spent in the Hong Kong Treasury. And they'll get on it, and they will kind of beat everybody. So you think else. that I will? Think, you think that will be bureaucrats? I think that ninety percent of the bureaucrats will re, will kind of have you know, as you said, their their mentality is do as little as possible, which I think is great. Yep. But there will be the energetic ten percent who are going to be like, oh, look at what I can do, and they're going to get out there and beat all the other ones in you know, kind of like a sheepdog, herd them all into submission, and get them going in that. So direction. you think that will be people? I think it will be enough. All Number right. two, enough to do lots of damage. Uh, and your second question: There's a need for solu you know, new of solutions and new language and yes. new language. I would go with something like active non-interventionism, like saying, "Where can we take the government out of the economy? Right? Where can we free the economy? Where can we give entrepreneurs more space to do their thing?" That, but that's, that's, a, an, that's, but an that's example. too I long just, a phrase. Yeah, I just made it up on the spot. You see, that's too well, long a phrase. You have to have some catchy phrase. Well, positive non-interventionism had a 50-year run. Yeah, but that you is know? becoming. He is saying that is becoming obsolete. So yeah, if you, saying, if, gotta, if you use the same with, phrase, yeah. you are still in his arena. Mm, so you have to come with your phrase. Probably. Yeah, exactly. Like like when they came up with big market, small government. That's a good example. Yeah, maybe. But we need a new one. But you know what? Who who is doing this brilliantly? Who the localism guy? They create yes. a new phrase yes. and, and yes. make it viral. So we yeah. need something like this. We need something 
new. Yeah, we've been writing a lot about those guys on our website. Go check it out. And uh, but I think that yeah, you're right. We do need a new term. Localism is a new. Localism is a completely new term, so, and, yeah. and, it, and it catches. Well, my yeah. friends, my friends over at the Lion Rock Institute, they need to come up with a new term for the economic sphere. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. See, see you tomorrow. Insightful. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.